most people who make things are always trying to find something new to do. So we were talking one day around the house, and we wondered, what could you do to play a cajon like a regular drum, but not have to buy a drum kit? So we got to thinking, why don't we make a little stand to put our cajon on? So we had some shelving angle iron laying around the house, so we decided we'd just design a little one. We'd make it high enough that we could sit on a stool. We didn't want it to mar the floor, so we put little rubber feet on it. We didn't want it to scratch the cajon up, so we just put some felt on the inside, just glued it in there with rubber cement. We made it big enough that it would fit the cajons that we've been making. So all of our cajons are a standard size, so it just fits in there on top like that. The hole is on the bottom. So we needed some drumsticks. So we tried wooden drumsticks, but the sound just doesn't sound right. So we were watching a video online about tongue drums one day, and the fellow on there makes them, and he took super balls, drilled a hole in them, and just stuck a piece of dowel rod in them. Now if you're going to do this, you have to be careful with one thing. Don't make the hole in the super ball the same size as the dowel. The hole needs a tiny bit smaller diameter, so it's a compression fit. We tried rubber cement, we couldn't get them to stay on, so finally we put a couple drops of super glue in there, jammed them in, let them dry overnight. So these are just cheap super balls. We use a 3 8 piece inch dowel, it's about a foot long, and make them whatever's comfortable for you, whatever diameter you want, a bigger diameter, smaller diameter. You can use a smaller diameter super ball, and it'll give you a different sound. So this particular one has bass, snare, slaps on the corners, snare here, and more of a bass down here. You can also play the bottoms, the backs, the sides. So you can get all different kinds of sound out of it. Now if you wanted to, you can stick a microphone in the back in the hole, and you can amplify your sound, which would be even different. It depends on sound, it's going to depend on what your hole pointing towards. In this particular one, this is all rubber mat flooring. So it sounds, it absorbs a little bit. If you had a different hard floor at the bottom, like a tile floor or a wood floor, it sounds different. So you can experiment with these and try different things. What we talked about doing was we were going to make one cajon with no snare, no slap on the corners, make a smaller cajon for the side with just snare on it, and make one over here that we could use for another sound. Make them different sizes, make them different heights, change the size of the hole. You could actually make your own drum kit here. And if you want to make your own cymbals, I'm sure you could find some aluminum pans or something like that, and you could have your own homemade drum kit for a lot less than it costs you to buy a whole new one. And you'd certainly have one of a kind.